let's talk about LearnPack. At 4Geeks, we have always been obsessed with making the process of learning faster, more efficient, and assertive so that you can grasp everything quickly and get to work. That's what you want, right? You want to have a better quality of life, a better work. You want to grasp all the content as fast as you can without having a lot of problems. So LearnPack, it's aiming, believe it or not, it's aiming just that. Because the best way to learn is a combined environment blended, right? Where you can work on your own sometimes and then you can have some mentorship some other times. And so, and so. So LearnPack, it's an attempt to have you ha uh, progress super fast on your own. And then you can come back to mentorships or live classes to complement on that. So we've been building LearnPack for the past two years and what it does immediately, like to you, what it does is it provides an environment of guided learning. So basically, let me just show you instead of telling you, right? The first, your first interaction with LearnPack will probably be, will probably be something like this practice here. Every time you see a practice and sometimes that you see a code, you'll see that it's gonna be in LearnPack some of the times. You're gonna find a box like this that says, this practice will run outside of forgets.com through LearnPack. You will press either in the start new exercise or in the continue exercise. Please do not press continue if you haven't started. So the first time you will press start. The moment you do that, we'll use Gitpod to immediately provide a coding environment for you with the guided tutorial. It's gonna take a second, but in the meantime, I can still explain. The guided tutorial means that it's gonna tell me something to do. I'm gonna do what, it, what I'm told in the instructions, and then I will test it out immediately and compile it to see how it looks. And after the test and compilation, I will be able to have some immediate feedback on if I did it right or not. And then I can continue to the next incremental step. So it's step number one, finish, number two, finish, number three, finish. And maybe at the end, I did an entire project. Or maybe at the end, I, I just practice a lot. Because sometimes in coding, like in math, or in, in some of other technical uh, skills, you cannot read a book and learn about math. You have to practice and practice and practice and practice. The same happens with coding. So you cannot just read. So what you want to do, what, what we want from you is to practice. So this particular set of exercises are for practicing, okay? And this is what you will find the moment that you open LearnPack. So you can see that on the right side, I have a video. Sometimes you will find a video, sometimes you will not. If you find a video, just close the video and start the exercise after you watch the video. But sometimes you will not see a video, you will see immediately something like this. This is already some of the instructions that I was saying. This is the first step. The first step, we try to make it always a welcome. And then on the left, you will find the files. LearnPress is actually helping you browse these files because these exercises are here. You can just open them manually. You, you know, you can just right click here, open the preview, and it will show you the instructions of the exercise. Welcome! But LearnPack, it's aiming to reduce the, the friction in a tutorial. So that's why we decided to avoid this step of opening the instructions and we show them immediately on the right side. Another thing we do is that when you press, when you start a uh, step, we will also open for you the code that you need to do, like here. Sometimes it's gonna be pre-filled, like right now that it has some code already, but sometimes it's gonna be empty. So, and this code is here on the right side, the index.html. So for example, the exercise has some instructions and some pre-code or boilerplate or template that you have to fill. And then it also has some tests. So these three things combined are what LearnPack needs to build itself, to build itself. The instructions are gonna be shown here. Then when you press compile or test, it will show you the feedback. Here I press compile and it's showing me the website that I currently have. So it's this index.html. But if I copy this, the, well, the instructions are telling me, by the way, that I have to remove the current website content 
and then add these two tags right so let me just copy the tags I'm gonna put them here and then I'm gonna build and I'm gonna be able to see the website immediately you see if you didn't have learn pack believe me this process could be a little bit annoying because you would have to find a way of running this HTML you can click here in preview but if you do that you will see that it's not the same if you have tried doing other tutorials before you'll see what I mean like running the, the website can be a little bit uh, annoying so we are completely taking away that problem using learn pack another another thing that we are taking away is that the need of opening these folders and understanding the structure where you just click next and that's it and then the compilation and instantaneous feedback if you click on this hamburger these little three horizontal bars are, are called a hamburger you will see obviously a help that it's going to show you some frequently asked questions like how to save the progress in github and things like that i would strongly recommend reading them but it will also show you the, your current progress these are all the exercises and you can see on the left that there's like a gray circle this is going to turn green as you finish them okay you can also translate the exercises from english to spanish or maybe some other language in the future and you can report a bug please report a bug if you find something and if you see this little learning cap you can click on it and it's going to show you the solution what's the deal here we, we have to try to include solutions video solutions for most of the exercises so that's it two more things before i go you may not find sometimes that these instructions are opened maybe they're closed like this or you may find that it's not working it doesn't matter what it, how it doesn't matter why it's not working the solution will always be the same you will go here to the learn pack terminal this is the learn pack terminal it says learn pack and you will Make sure that it's stopped by doing Control C. You see, Control C, Control C, Control C. Make sure to click on the terminal so that you can type on it or do Control C on it. And then you say Learn Pack Start. This will restart Learn Pack and it will make sure that the instructions are on the right side running again. So that's important. Remember, Learn Pack Start, Learn Pack Start. The second thing that you have to remember is that the second time that you press Instead, the second time that you're going to be doing these exercises, do not hit on start new exercise again because you will not be able to see the previous progress. Instead of that, I want you to click please on continue exercise. When you do that, it's going to show you the previous exercises that you did and you're going to have to remember which one was that you wanted to do. So for example, I am in the HTML interactive, right? So I will find here HTML interactive and here it is look it says HTML it says github.com slash for this academy slash HTML tutorial so this is the one because every time you open a new one it's gonna show up here as a workspace and you have to you have to remember the ones that you've done before you can also rename them you can also rename them and say this one is HTML interactive and that way you will never forget that this one's the one and then I will also recommend to pin them so that you don't lose them because we're using Gitpod as a platform so these workspaces will delete themselves after 15 days I think so make sure to hit on pin you will be learning more about Gitpod in the future or maybe you have already learned these things depending on the progress of the course but what matters is that you understand when to hit start and when to hit continue so only the first time you do HTML you will hit start the next time you will hit continue but if you're doing now CSS CSS is different than HTML right so the CSS exercises you're gonna start them from scratch not continue them because you haven't started them yet so the first time you start and the second time on you hit continue so let me know if you have any questions in slack or if you find any bugs, please make sure to report them by hitting this little bug here on the top. And I hope this helps and good luck with the rest of the course.